<laughs> yeah, man, I do it for the fam. Tryna put food on my table, going ham. PYT says she knows who I am. Browse on fleek, she'll do it for the gram. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, before the video begins, I just want to say that I'm using a different mic. I'm actually using my Blue Snowball, so if it sounds a lot better quality, um, please say so down in the comments and I will use this instead of my normal mic. So, yep. Alright, on to the main video. So, today we're going to be uh, learning how to make a splash screen in C Sharp. So, if you don't know what that is, um, I'm just going to do a little demonstration. So, it's basically this little image that pops up before your main program. So, yep. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and open Visual Studios, I'm going to create a new project, um, obviously Windows form application. Um, I'm guessing that you will probably already have your main form slash forms, um, so that's all good. So basically what you want to do um, is you want to right click on your the name of your project right here and click on add a new item you can also go up to project and uh, click on add new item right there both do the exact same thing so whoops we're going to add new item and then new windows form now you can call this whatever you want I'm just going to call it splash click on add and then um, this is going to be the screen where your picture shows up so you just want to go over to your toolbox. If your toolbox isn't showing up, you want to go to the right, the top left hand corner, not right. Um, and you want to go to click on view and then go down to about the middle and it'll say toolbox. And then after that, you want to type in picture box and um, you just want to resize it a bit. And then you want to choose your image, uh, local resource or uh, you know resources or whatever wherever your image is, um, I'm just going to choose, not that one, yeah I'm just going to choose this one, okay so we need to size it out a bit, it's a bit too small, okay that's good, okay so after you've done that, you can mess around with some of the properties. I'm just going to show you a few basic ones. Um, so if you actually made your image on Photoshop, which I encourage that you do, um, you might want to put the background on transparent. Um, so basically this white thing, the white, um, like obviously not the blue and the text, like the white will be transparent. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you want to select your application you don't want to have be, have this selected you want to select your application you want to go to the top and then you want to find something called back color and you want to choose whatever so if, if you have text as your image you want to pick the same color as the back color if that makes any sense so I'm just gonna click this because it's the closest to my image and then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says transparency key and then you want to click on the same color. That has to be the same color. Um, otherwise, you know, it's not going to be transparent. So after you've done that, you want to double click on the application like that. Or you can right click and view code. Um, so yeah. And after that, you want to go up here and you want to make a new timer. It doesn't really matter what you call it. I'm just going to call it S for squirt. And then in here where it says splash underscores load, if splash underscore load doesn't show up for you, you need to go back to your project and you need, you need to double click um, your project and it should show up here. So after you've done that, um, you want to click, you want to type S equals new timer. And under that, you want to type S dot interval. So what we're doing now is that this will be how long the splash screen will show up for and uh, remember this is in milliseconds so if I type 1000 it will be one second so we're just going to have it for five seconds so we're going to type in 5000 and then we want to start it obviously so we're going to um, type s dot start and then underneath that you want to type s dot tick plus equals new event handler and this will give you an error, um, but 
uh, we're going to fix it in a second so after you've done that this will be erroring um, you can either generate a stub um, and it will just do that or, or you can type it in manually um, I'm going to type it in manually just for the purpose of the video so we're going to go down here and we're going to type void and then whatever you have as your name uh, underscore tick and then object sender object sender event arguments e okay and so that should not be uh, erroring anymore and now we want to stop our timer um, so s dot stop and now we want to show our form 1 so form 1 or form 2 or form 3 or whatever form you want to show after your splash screen um, I'm just going to call it um, fr1 equals new form 1 okay cool and now what we want to do is we want to show the form 1 and hide the splash screen so f fr1.show and s oh no not s this dot hide so it shows the form one and it hides the splash screen okay so if we go ahead and run it it's not going to work um but if we go ahead and run it it's still going to show up as form one so what you need to do to fix that is you want to go over to the right hand side and underneath form one or wherever in your uh, application name it will say program.cs and you want to go into here and where it says form 1 you just want to type uh, splash or whatever you named your splash.cs um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and run it and it should work this time so as you can see um, you know it does work it's got um, if you see, I'm just gonna run it again real quick um, stop it and then start it again it's got this little box around it still so we're going to go ahead and take that off so if you go back onto your splash um, and like I said you can mess around with any of these properties here but I actually just forgot to take that off so if we go down to form border style right here it says sizable you want to put that on none um, another good one is uh, minimize box, maximize box, just t turn those off. Um, show icon, show in taskbar. Uh, we don't actually need the grip. Start position center. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and start it again. And there you go. So it will show the image for five seconds and then it will load your form. Um, and yeah, it's perfect. Uh, it looks really nice on any tool, big or small. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and peace.